Okay, let me not do that too much because y'all know what happens with copyright. But what's going on, everybody? Welcome, welcome, welcome to Geekly Goods. My name is Leo Rydell. And if you're new to the channel, we talk the latest in movies, TV, anime, a little sprinkle of gaming. If you're new to the channel, hit that big red subscribe button because, guys, today I'm here to review Halloween Kills and... I gotta say, I wish I was more excited about it, but what is Halloween Kills about? Halloween Kills is a follow-up to Halloween 2019 and the nightmare isn't over as unstoppable killer Michael Myers escapes from Laurie Strode's trap to continue his ritual bloodbath. Injured and taken to the hospital, Lori fights through the pain as she inspires residents of Haddonfield to rise up against Michael Myers. This movie stars Jamie Lee Curtis as Laurie Strode, Judy Greer as Karen, and Andy Matyshek as Allison. And guys, I gotta say, I really, really wanted to like this more. Like, look, I'm a big Halloween fan. I love the original 1978. I even like the second one. I don't know, Season of the Witch, I'm a little so-so about. I just don't know how I feel about a Michael Myers movie without Michael Myers. I mean, come on now. Also, I like the return of Michael Myers. H2O, not too great, but eh, it's another one of the movies. Really enjoyed Halloween 2018, but this one? Whew. Let's start out, of course, on the positive side of things with what I thought worked for the movie and what I really liked about it was the kills, y'all. The kills were over the top, guys. I mean, this is some of the goriest, gruesome, just over the top murders that have ever happened in this franchise. And there have been some crazy ones, don't get me wrong, but this goes to a whole new level to where it almost feels like MCU fanfare style where they're going with these murders. I mean, they're so over the top and brutal and crazy and gore filled. Guys, they're creative. I gotta say they are visceral. They're crazy. They're just, they're up close and in your face. And I gotta give it to them with that. It made it entertaining because this movie felt a lot like Michael Myers' playground. You could tell Homeboy was ready to slay some folks, and that's a lot of what happened here, especially uh, in the first act. The second act was maybe a little slower in terms of the kill factor, but man, it picks back up pretty quickly. And I gotta say, the kill count for a Halloween movie, I think this is the highest body count that Michael's done in one movie. But man, the blood looked so realistic. I gotta give props to the makeup team. The blood and the gore and just the stab wounds and all kinds of damage that happened to people looked very realistic it looked believable it was crazy guys i mean so crazy that the theater was reacting around me like this was an avengers movie y'all it was just like oh ooh, like here and there and everywhere people were reacting and i gotta say that was good on their part to include these very entertaining over the top kills and kind of make this like i was saying MCU fanfare-ish to the point where it's like the people who are fans of Halloween gobble up this killing spree that Michael is going on because that seems to be what they're reaching for here. Man, a lot of that. The camera work remains good, of course, following Michael, tight on him, really good shots and, and shot composition. Good lighting, of course, another good attribute of the Halloween movies. Usually they know when to really make things dark and really dark in scenes and really just dim those lights and make Michael appear much bigger than he actually is. So they do a good job with a lot of the technicals, but let's go into what doesn't quite work and uh, why I'm a little disappointed. All right guys, so this is Leo from the future. I was in the middle of editing this and I totally forgot something incredibly important. I love Laurie Strode in this continuity of Halloween, guys. I love what they've done with the character in 2018 and now in this movie, I really enjoy how rugged she is and how willing she is to rush into the danger. I really love this character and it doesn't stop here. I enjoy her role here as well, so Definitely love us some Lori, and I'm glad we got her in there. But let's get to what uh, doesn't quite work, y'all. So the biggest thing that doesn't quite work for me is the story. You know, you've got the three-act structure, the beginning, the middle, the end. And the poor thing about it is that the only thing about this movie is that I was cool seeing the kills, and then the story? Didn't really care. Here's how I feel about the citizens. Why didn't you guys revolt and rise up before? The story presented a lot more problems than it did solutions. And unfortunately, 
it explores a little bit more of the Halloween and Michael Myers lore and maybe too much. They do a little bit too much with Michael's intentions and his motives. And I just think it's scrambling the lore of Halloween just a little too far for me because Halloween, look, the original 1978 John Carpenter, it's just a dude in a mask who's going to kill. It has gotten so extreme at this point. This movie, it just stretches the boundaries a little too far for me. There, of course, these movies, we're not going to them for this amazing story. Look, this ain't Portrait of a Lady on Fire, but it at least needs to be somewhat believable and at least somewhat follow a cohesive formula and it just doesn't unfortunately it is just unbelievable it is just a stretch and it just goes too far and look i know a lot of us aren't going to this for story but when it goes too far that it just kind of makes you settle for the gore to bring you through the movie it just doesn't really help there are some motives and some actions that happen in this movie that just don't really make a lot of sense and i'm not gonna say who i'm not gonna spoil for you because i won't be that guy but there are some characters that do not get enough screen time in this movie and that that really disappoints me you know there's a trope in horror movies called the final girl the girl who survives the killer and the killer in the sequels and later on in the series wants to kill the final girl because the final girl was the one who got away they play with that trope a little bit here and i'm not happy with what they did with it and also this just feels a lot a lot like setup for the next movie it kind of feels like that middle notch in the belt that you never fasten with but you're, you're just kind of pulling to get to the end of the bell or pulling to get through another notch. That's kind of how this feels. It feels like setup for Halloween ends. I wanted this movie to feel good on its own, but it almost feels like if I watch 2018, this then ends, I'm gonna feel satisfied as a whole. But this middle piece didn't quite do it for me. But guys, if I had to give a rating to this entertaining yet kind of empty movie, I would have to go with a six out of 10 the only reason I'm dialing it all the way up to a six is because them kills y'all. Absolutely entertaining. And like I said, I did like the camera work. Of course, the score incorporating the original theme, always great. But unfortunately, it just misses in so many areas. Story, lore, too big of a stretch. And unfortunately, playing with tropes just did not work for me, guys. But let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Have you seen Halloween Kills yet? Let me know down in the comments and are you looking forward to it and what are you looking forward to most? I mean, hey, I had a couple conversations before shooting this review and some of my friends ended up saying like, look, I'm not in it for the story. I'm just in it for the kills. And I got to tell you, if you're in it for the kills, the gore, the over the top action packed killing. All right, then you're in for a treat. You will love it. And hey, if that's all you're going for. You're gonna walk out extremely satisfied. So guys, let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And if you're new to the channel, of course, be sure to hit that subscribe button for your boy. And we'll see you next time on Geekly Goods.